Hello, I'm Ricky Sanchez. I'm Kevin Jacobson. And you're watching Inside Rockland. What is Inside Rockland? It's a local show that will highlight the different aspects of the community. From news and politics. To helping the county find missing children and help lock up Rockland's most wanted. And getting your reactions and opinions with our Word on the Street segment. Kevin Jacobson is no football player, but he spent the day with the county's own semi-professional football team, the Rockland County Bruins. For those of you who are watching at home who know me personally, know that this, a football, and I don't go together very well. But that doesn't stop me from wanting to learn how to play the game of football. So to do that, we came out here to Rockland Lake today, where Rockland County's own semi-professional football team, the Rockland County Bruins, are practicing. But before we get to practice with them, let's find out who the Rockland County Bruins are. a semi-pro football team, which was an idea of mine about four years ago. Um, I've been throughout the ranks of the United Football League and just decided that we needed to bring a team to Rockland. Now you guys have been up and running for two years now? Correct. This Correct. is our second year. And how was the first year? The first year was interesting. It was a little rough. Um, we didn't anticipate we would get as far as we did. But with the talent that we had, you know, the focus that we had, we got a lot further than we anticipated finishing with a 9-1 season. So great. the players' minds were, were great. So, you know, the first year was good. Second year will be better. The third year is a charm. Great. Were there any parts where you were a little nervous about not happening? Actually, the nervous one was Coach Hanbury because I told him we had a plan. We just had to work the plan and everything would come together. So there weren't really any bumps in the roads. It was a smooth process from securing the field to the insurance to the league fee to the transportation to the players. And who makes up the Rockland County Bruins? Your neighbor, your cousin, your brother, maybe some of your uncles, your fathers. Um, a bunch of guys from the community, some from across the bridge that's been in the league before, but um, we, we look mainly towards, um, towards the community. Uh, we have a very competitive schedule, a very competitive schedule. We have five home games and we have five away games. Okay. Well, comparing your team with the other teams, what would you say the other teams are like? They're good teams. They're good teams. I mean, um, organization-wise, we, we try to be a cut above the rest. Um, however, I can't take anything away from those guys. They are the competition and they have set the bar. We're a new team coming into their backyard and we're just trying to do our best within that realm and, and um, trying, to, trying to win. But there are some real good teams out there that if, if you sleep on them and you think they're not that good, they'll, they'll shock you and, and embarrass you on your field. Twice a week, the team meets at the Tappan Zee Lounge in Spring Valley to go over playbook and strategies and lift weights. We recently caught up with the defense part of the team to see what the minimum requirements are to be a part of the team, and I was put to the test. Uh, we have a minimum requirement for the players as far as strength testing. Um, you have to be able to push uh, 225 pounds at least 10 times, and every two weeks increase it by two repetitions. Um, and that's, that's team-wide, all positions. Um, usually our linemen uh, go at about 275 to 300, and they like to push that about 10 or 15 times. They're pretty strong guys back there. And this is just a way to measure that they have been working out on their own without just sitting back and eating chips and working out remote. What do you recommend the players do uh, to keep in condition throughout the uh, season? <laughs> Um, I recommend that they stretch, um, watch their diet, and actually do some of the uh, routines that we practice. I told these guys this, if you make this team you in Rockland, you are the best of the best because there's a lot of good athletes here, and if you can make the cut here, you're really you're the best of the best. You're gonna you're the cream of the of that crop. Definitely. And you just mentioned you know these these players have jobs during the day. Right. Do they find it easy to manage uh, to play football and work? Everybody has a story. Everybody has a story. We try to work with them and and to work around their job schedules. 
Well, my, my contribution is um, hard work, 110% dedication when I'm on the field. You know, even though I was chosen to be a captain, I've been instilled to be leader since birth. So anytime I'm on the field, I'm always pepping the guys up, motivating them to push them as hard as I can. Great. And now before the Rockland County Bruins, you've been a part of several other football organizations during the past few years. What were some of those? I uh, played two years with the New Jersey Giants, which we won a championship and went 12-1. and one. I played two years with the North Jersey Panthers. I played one year with the Orange County Bulldogs. And this is my second season with the Rockland Bruins. There you go. Take your time. Take your time. That's okay. That's okay. That's what it's for. Good job. So what's the purpose of this, Coach? What the purpose of this is, this is so when, you, when you, you're running and jumping and you're moving, you're always under control. The whole thing with speed on a team is agility and to be under control and always be able to recover. Even if you're in the air, you've got to land the proper way, and it's all about footwork and agility. That's what it is. Now, obviously, I wasn't in, in, in control doing that. So what do you guys, what do you usually do to the player who can't uh, go through that? Sit them through again. Yeah? Yep, until they get it. So That's all. It. Just repetition is the best teacher. Right. That's what we do. Repetition. 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 How's everything going so far? Things are going pretty well so far. Uh, we're working pretty hard. Uh, we're getting things together slowly but surely. And, and how are the oldies uh, treating you on the team? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty welcome. I feel welcome. Good. And uh, I feel comfortable right now. What do you hope to bring to the team that uh, maybe they don't have as of right now? Well, I, I definitely want to bring some kind of intensity. I definitely play football with determination, with all my heart. Um, I just hope to contribute in, any, in the best way possible, in any way. Mm -hmm. What does a wide receiver do on the team? Well, actually, we are the quicker guys, the smaller guys, the speed guys. Uh, we run, run down the field and we catch the football. Uh, it's pretty much up to us to put points on the board last year. We only um, missed the um, championship by one game. And I think with the new added additions and the coaches and everybody who's working hard together, we'll get there this year. And there you have the Rockin County Bruins practicing here at Rockin Lake. Hope you had fun watching us practice with them, and much luck to them in the 2002 season. So here at Rockland Lake, I'm Kevin Jacobson, inside Rockland. Thank you. Shoot! You should be lucky you didn't get tackled. Those are pretty big guys. They were pretty big guys, Ricky, and I must add, all the members on the team are very focused and have what a team needs to be successful. That's certainly great to hear. Thank you, Kevin. We'll be right back. I am Horace Brooks with the Rockland County Bruins, and you're watching Inside Rockland with Ricky Sanchez. We leave you with the sweet sound of Herman Wright of Spring Valley. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.